Good day and welcome to the channel. This short video is a companion piece to our video on how to use uh, Microsoft uh, 365 email aliases uh, to send from. So the idea here is, let's say you have a, an email uh, address that's uh, johnny at yourcompany.com and you have an email alias set up that is rsvp at yourcompany.com and that video shows you how to send mail from that alias. We also show you how to set those aliases up. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you uh, the other end of it, which is how to sort mail automatically uh, in Microsoft Outlook or in Microsoft Outlook uh, for the web, OWA, OWA, whatever you want to call it, Outlook web app, so that when an inbound mail uh, message comes in that's been sent to one of these aliases that you've set up, it goes to a subfolder and that may make your world easier. So let's show it to you because there's a quirk and that's why we set this up as a separate video rather than uh, putting it in the primary video. So you can see we have a number of websites, commodore.ca, uh, issueslab.com, and URtech. And uh, we want email that's coming inbound to an alias that we have set up, which is info at URtech.ca. We want messages that are sent to that email alias to go to this folder. Now, it's simple enough, but it is definitely not obvious. So let's just show you. So click the little drop down below uh, rules and select create rule. And this will come up with some common sense stuff, but uh, just ignore that. Click the advanced options at the bottom right. Well, what you'll naturally want to do is say anything that's sent to, and then click on this and type in, well, in our case, we have to put in info at urtech.ca and okay. And you would think that a rule that's applied to anything that's sent to info at urtech.ca, the email alias, would work, but it doesn't. Quite frustrating. But what you have to do is instead of using sent to, you have to use reference to the header. So with specific words in message header, and it's really the same thing from here. So let's go to specific words and the specific words are, in my case, the alias info at urtech.ca, GAD, click OK. And now what do I want to do with them? Let's click next. I would like to move it to a specified folder. And if I don't have the folder created, which I do here, but if I didn't, I could click on specified and I could click new folder. But in my case, I will just set it to that one. There we go. And now when I click next, there's no exceptions required here. So we'll just click next and that's it. We'll just click finish. And here's the rule. If the message header contains info at urtech.ca, then move it automatically to the info at urtech folder. If you don't want to set up that rule through Outlook, but you'd like to set it up through OWA, Outlook on the web, Outlook web app, whatever you want to call it, it's easy enough. Just log into uh, your Outlook. So I'll just go to portal.office.com. Uh, I've already signed in, so for me, I don't uh, receive uh, authentication prompt, but you may. Then go to Outlook, or you could just go to outlook.office.com, whatever. And then click the cog in the top right-hand corner, and click on Rules, and click Add New Rule, follow whatever you want, add a condition, message header includes, in my case, the message header for sorting an email alias into a separate folder would be info at urtech.ca. That is just an alias on the primary account. It is not a separate account. And uh, I would like it moved to info at urtech. And that's it. So hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.